Hey family, welcome back to the channel. It's Ebony dropping by with another quick word. Welcome, welcome. Please don't hesitate to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as well as turn on your notification bell so you're notified whenever I release any new content. Uh, this is just going to be a quick word. Uh, I was actually just, you know, deep cleaning my home earlier and the Lord really started to minister me, minister to me. And it was off the, the smallest thing, but it was so big. The message upon it was so huge. Um, first off, the message is, Take inventory of your thoughts. The Lord wants you to take inventory of your thoughts. Monitor your thoughts closely. Um, let me tell you what happened and how God gave me this word. So I'm sweeping up the house and I don't know if you've ever, I'm sure you have experienced this. You know, when you're sweeping and either the wind, the air from the ceiling fan or um, the AC just turns on all of a sudden and some of your trash, you got a nice little trash pile and it just start blowing different places. Okay, so... I'm sweeping and I have my little plow here and I was almost done sweeping the house. And next thing you know, like a really small piece of a, uh, like a trash bag blew out. It almost scared me half to death because I didn't know what it was. Now, I, I haven't had no black trash bag in my house. Like the, the trash bags, I have a total different color and everything. So it kind of caught me off guard because I didn't know if it was like a, a big bug or a, a rat or what. I was like, whoa, it kind of scared me for a minute. So, um, anyway, I realized what it was and I just kept sweeping and this one little piece kept flying off. Every time the fan would blow or the AC turned on, uh, you know, I would put it back in a little pile and before I could finish sweep the next corner, that little piece then just blew out and went somewhere else. The Lord says the same things happen with our thoughts. If we don't evaluate our thoughts, if we don't keep inventory of our thoughts and monitor the thoughts that we are having on a daily basis, um, they'll be all over the place. Now, the thoughts in particular that he is um, referring to is our negative thought patterns. Now, see, it doesn't take nothing for us to get negative thoughts that enter our minds. But, you know, we can't, we can't control that. But we can control what we focus on or whether we allow them to stay there. Or if, now, if, if something tells you a negative thought comes in your mind and say, I can't do this. Are you going to believe that? Because that's what popped into your mind based off of, it's likely based off of a old negative belief system that you once had due to something that had happened in your past in your life. So are you going to believe that you can't do it or are you going to put a spin on that, make that a positive and say, you know what, I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. I've got this. So the Lord wants you to keep an inventory of your thoughts. The Lord wants you to think, uh, uh, focus on things that are positive because the things that you focus on in your life grow. They become magnified. So if you always focus on the negative aspects of life, no, and no matter what situation it may be in, those things are going to grow and they're going to be ma uh, magnified in your life as to where if you focus on the positive things and you give gratitude daily for everything that you have in your life, um, you know, that's going to attract abundant, more abundance into your life. So evaluate your thoughts. Check, keep inventory of your thoughts on a day-to-day -day basis because uh, just as that little piece of trash kept coming back, those negative thoughts will keep coming back if we don't do something to them. If we don't take those negative thoughts captive and, um, you know, transmute them and turn them around, turn them into a negative and put a positive spin on them, then they'll remain negative. And before you know it, you believe all kinds of negative things about yourself rather than the things that God says about you. So, for instance... If when you were a child, you were told that um, you, you weren't going to accomplish anything in life, you weren't going to do anything in life, uh, you know, you were stupid or any, a number of things. You know, if you were told these types of things, then those are going to, um, those were negative seeds that were planted in your subconscious mind, which led to you having certain belief systems about yourself. Um, let's just say now you're an adult and you like to settle settle for less than what you deserve because you believe that you're not worthy because you told you were told when you were younger that you know you're not going to do anything with your life you're you're uh you know you're not smart you're ignorant or you don't deserve to have this or that or you can't have this because so now you're walking around in your adulthood and you're suffering because you've got yourself trapped in a mental prison because of these old broken down belief systems that no longer positively serve you. God says you are worthy. 
You are worthy of greatness. The Lord, and, and the same thing about finances. You know, if you uh, were, grew up and you always heard your parents or those around you always say, oh, money don't grow on trees or that money going to burn a hole in your pocket or, um, you know, it was like a scarcity mentality of where there was always fear of lack. Uh, you know, that's a poverty mentality. That's a, that's a scarcity mindset. That's something that you don't want to have because if you trust and have faith in the Lord, you know that he says that he is going to supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. So when you start having those little thoughts come to mind, you have to be willing to go in there and uproot those negative things and plant positive seeds in its place. And this is something that you may have to do every day until you start really embodying that uh, new positive outlook and mindset uh, and belief system on everything in your life. So, in other words, it's like stinking thinking. We got to shut that stinking thinking down. You can't go every day thinking, you believe in that God is going to do it for you, but then at the same time, right after you, uh, you say, okay, I know God's going to supply all of my needs, then you turn around and think, oh, I don't have enough money to pay this bill. Oh, God, um, how am I going to do that? How am I going to accomplish this? Or you deal with being mistreated because you feel that you're unworthy of love. You feel that you're unworthy of honesty and, and respect and, and love and things like that when that is not the case. You know, God doesn't want you to settle. He wants the best for you. We are all his children. And don't you, if you as a parent, uh, if you are a parent and you have children, don't you want the best for your kids? You want them to have a better life than you have. You want to for them to have everything they can ever want, think, need ask for or imagine and God wants the same for you but it all starts with your mind you have to believe that you are worthy of these things so the Lord wants you to keep inventory of your thoughts every negative thought that comes every thought that enters your mind period you have to sit back and look and analyze and say okay is this thought beneficial to me is this thought going to enhance me is this thought going to build me up or is it going to tear me down is it negative? Does it make me doubt? Does it make me fear? Does it make me question my own worth, my own value? Does it com is it is it a com does it confuse me? Because God is not the author of confusion. God wants you to focus on Him and His Word, the things that He says about you. You are a royal priesthood. You are royalty. You are a king. You are a queen. Your Father is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Know whose you are, and then you'll know who you are. But you have to take inventory of your thoughts on a daily basis. This is very important because you can say that you have faith and you believe that God is going to do all these things for you. But then if, if, that, if the exact opposite is rooted deep down in your mind and heart, then it's like it's conflicting. It, it's really conflicting. So you just, you just must have, you must know, you must have this knowing. You must know that you know, that you show sure enough know. What God said about you and what God is going to do for you and believe that. So those negative thoughts that come, you have to pluck, pluck those weeds up out of your garden. You have to go and, and tend to your garden on a daily basis and plant positive seeds and continue to water your garden as well. Because if you don't go out there and you don't pluck up those weeds and you don't continue to water your garden, and you, you, don't, you fail to do these things, you're going to have a yard full of weeds and you're going to have a mind full of negative thoughts. It is only going to weigh you down and hinder your growth and hinder your walk and hinder you from reaching the next level that God has for you and that he's trying to take you to. So once again, keep inventory of your thoughts. This is very important. Uproot that stinking thinking. All those negative thoughts, put a spin on them. Make them positive thoughts. Speak life into yourself. And always remember, the thing that you focus on the most is what's going to grow in your life. So if you speak life into yourself every day and say, you know what? I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. I am wealthy. I am abundant. I am a child of God. God is going to meet all of my needs. He's going to supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Then those are the things that you are going to start seeing manifest in your life. But if you continue to believe that you're not worthy, that you're undeserving, that there is lack, that there is scarcity, that you're not going to have the resources, you're not going to have um, you know, the finances to do certain things that the Lord has put on your heart to do, then it's only going to serve as roadblocks and hinder you in your journey and in your growth um, and along your purpose. So keep inventory of those thoughts. Focus on things above and not beneath. Focus on the word of God. Focus on everything that God says you are and that he says he has for you versus those negative thoughts that try to creep up on you. Um, so I just pray that this word blesses you and encourages you. I love you. God loves you. God bless you. Talk to you soon.